Hey guys, this is Karina here from K Studio FX. I wanted to post this video. I like to do little tips and tricks here and there of little things that I struggle with. Could be stupid little things like this one right here. Um, and I spent hours and hours. I pretty much wasted my day. I have to stop in half an hour and I'm like, this is crazy. This is reference for me in the future. <laughs> But also for you if it can help you. So here's my thing. I have a 4k screen. I am on an iMac 4k screen. I am using Photoshop CC and What I like to do is I get as pixel perfect as possible in translating all of my clients designs onto web now, yes, I do design and I do coding. So what I'm trying to do is I'm opening my design files and this is for my beautiful client, Lisa Knudsen. There she is, hey, Lisa. Now, okay, this is her design. This is the exact size I want it to look like on the screen. I have my image resolution to 72. It's exactly what I want. Um, it is 5120. My screen size is not 5120. If I go to my browser, just to check, let's say, let's go to HTML. If you see it right here, 2545, that's the width. Obviously, look at the mess. This is my mess. I am still just starting CSS, please bear with me. <laughs> but what was excruciating was, you see, I was working on this and I'm like, my font size pixels are not matching my design and I'm having to guess here and there. I don't like guessing. I like exacts. So if you look, oh, my silly thing is on top of that. Okay. So if I go here, right, I'm on start your consultation. The size here is 24.48 pixels. Here's my thing. I've been designing and coding for years for decades and that is not 24 pixels i'm sorry that looks like it's probably 14 15 no like 14 14 15. um i know that because i've done this for how many years there's no way that's 24 pixels here's my other thing let's look at the box right here if i go and i look for it it says 674 pixels by 137. No way. It's that big. That's no way. That's probably like 250, 300 by, I don't know, 50, 60. Um, so when I go and I translate this and I say, okay, this is supposed to be 24.48. Okay, so let's go here and let's make this button. I'm going to go here and I'm going to say 24. Oh my gosh. Obviously, that's not the size of my text. Definitely not. Look how itty bitty. So here's the thing. Again, I'm on a 4K screen. So for me to get as pixel perfect as possible, there are some changes you need to do on Photoshop. Um, again, I'm using Photoshop CC. I am on an iMac. I believe I'm on Big Sur. Um, normally when I would go through these issues, I would go to Photoshop preferences and I'm either in like units and rulers or, uh, no guides. Okay. Maybe interface. I have a feeling it's the UI scaling right here. I can't touch it. I wonder if I can't touch it because I have multiple screens. Um, this is my main screen, which is the iMac, and it's a 4K. I do have other screens where it's just easier for me to toggle over. Instead of being in one thing, I can see multiple things at once. And maybe that's why, because those are not 4K screens. So there is a little trick. Like I told you, it took me hours to figure it out, and it sucks, but I figured it out. So I hope this will help solve this for you. What I'm going to do is... Try and go to your applications folder. So I already went to mine. And under your applications folder, if you go to, because I know I am Adobe Photoshop 2022. So I'm going to go over there and I go inside the folder and I look for dot app. Once I get to that, right click on it and go get info. 
Can you see this beautiful thing here? That wasn't checked, sorry. <laughs> um, it was unchecked. I just checked it and I was like, oh, let me do this video really quick. Okay, so it was unchecked and that's why I have this crazy resolution. So what it needs to be is open and low resolution. Once we do that, obviously you have to get out of Photoshop completely. So I'm going to shut this stuff down and I'm going to restart it and I will show you the difference. Okay. So again, make sure open in low resolution. We are going to look at this. This is at 100% at 5120 72 resolution. So give me a second. I'm back. Okay. I completely shut that whole app down. I reopened it. I reopened the same design. Now look at it. We are at only 8%. Let's go to 100% and let's take a look at this. It is ginormous. Obviously, I don't want it that big. But hey, look, that kind of makes sense with my start your consultation. Kind of, not really. But look at it still, 24, 48, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do now is my screen size, let's say 2545, right? Okay. Let's go to image size. Let's go 2545. Sure. Why not? Yes, please. Transform everything. <sighs> now we wait. This usually takes a while. I have a huge file with lots of smart objects because I'm crazy like that. And huge images also. Um, mm -mm. Let me pause. I'll come right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, oh goodness, where am I? Um, there we go. We are at 100% now. Look, this is exactly the size I want. Um, I am at 2545, 5667. Sure, why not? Um, if I roll over this, oh, okay, see, I was kind of off. It's about 12, 12 pixels. Okay, so let's go back over here. I'm going to change you to... Mm. Oh, oh no, that's hover. Just kidding. I'm gonna go to who was it? Twelve. <gasps> Look how beautiful. Love it. Important this. What are you doing? I have to look at my code. I don't like doing that unless it's absolutely important. <laughs> But look, oh my goodness, yes, that is exactly what I want. That is exactly the size that I want. Let's see. Um, did I make a good guess? Okay, $16.99, that's like around $17. Again, like I said, I don't like guessing. I deal in exacts. So now I know for a fact it's $17. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and my problem is solved. My only pet peeve, I don't know if you can tell, but now... All of the controls are a little fuzzy. It's a little fuzzy. I don't have great eyes because I've been on a computer for decades, but it is a little fuzzy compared to everything here. But you know what? You deal with what you got so long as it works. It works. I hope this helps you and I hope this saves you all the hours I wasted today to give my wonderful client, Lisa Knudsen, a pixel perfect close to pixel perfect website. Um, yes, I will come back later when I have some more tips. Have a good day, guys. Bye.